Hi, I'm Dustin, and today on the barrel, Springbank 10 year single malt scotch. Sound of the dog licking themselves. Oh my god! It's <laughs> bath time. <laughs> um, Tell me all of the things. So, but only as much as I care to hear, and not a single thing more. All right, this is a whiskey from Scotland. Don't forget to subscribe. And <laughs> you know me so good. <laughs> Open her up. No. Springbank is a brand that I have wanted to try and have not for many years. Is this an unopened bottle? Yeah. <gasps> yeah, I've never uh, had a Springbank. I have had Kilcarran. These, sure, yeah, which man, I hope to get to those at some point as well. But Springbank, I've wanted to try for a long time. They're they're very old school, they're very traditional, they've held on to those traditional ways of making whiskey for decades and decades. And because of that, their product, from what I've heard, has just always been of high quality, and she's licking my feet now. <laughs> Excuse me. It's your bath time. Isla. Oh, sweet girl, you have to stop. So this is a 10-year-old Campbelltown single malt whiskey. Campbelltown is the region of Scotland that this distillery is in. This is 46%, which would usually mean that it is not chill filtered. I know just because it's Springbank that it is not chill filtered and uh, no color added. That is because it says right on the back here. <laughs> On the back here, Springbank Single Malt Whiskey, free of artificial coloring, also is not chill filtered. All right, here, I'll open the bottle. This sounds great. Yes. I can't wait to open it. Why don't I work on this situation and you figure out what the hell is wrong with our dogs? It should be a little I got it. I mean. How's it going? Well, I see where I need to open it, but I know. it's not. And then all of a sudden you're gonna get under your fingernail and then the Look whole... at that. Oh, got it. There we go. See? Where there's a will, there's a whiskey. Oh, so sorry. I can see she's about to yell at you again. So I think just... what Penny is trying to say down here is that you should subscribe oh. if you're not already. And if you are, thank you. Maybe give this a thumbs up, leave a little comment down below if you enjoyed yourself or if you didn't. Or just watch what you care to watch and don't watch what you don't care to watch. Oh. That's really cool. Good job. That was perfect. Oop, little cheater sniff. <laughs> Boy, a little bit there. Did you hear that? A little bit of a glug glug for you. Oh, not That's, not quite as cool for the audience. I think it only happens right away. Oh. This should be like a perfect representation of a unpeated single malt scotch. I, I would, I'm just excited, okay? Why are Frickin you still a. talking? Wow, really soft nose. Sometimes I feel like scotches oh. are like a bit of an assault on the nose, at least the first time around before you can then go back in for a second sniff. And this one I just got a big old whiff of and I did not feel assaulted. This- Like gentle. Yeah, this smells like, I, I felt like I was, that it smells like the scene from uh, what is it? Is it Gladiator when he's uh, when he's? I was just about to say flowers. Are you about to in, say in the field of yeah, flowers? Yeah, he's walking. He's walking just through the field. Yes. And like it's just fresh. Yeah, it's not floral in an, like a uh, nauseating way, like a perfumey way. It's floral no, in just like a fresh. It's more air, like a like a malty fresh air field of wheat. Like you just walked into the garden center and you're just so excited to plant your flowers for spring, which is not how I feel because I don't have a green thumb, but I imagine it's how people who enjoy doing that feel. And when I go to sure. to the place with my mom to help her with her flowers, Aww. that's what it smells like. Yeah, that's that's wonderful, fresh. I mean, that is just malty. 
textbook definition if somebody was like, what is a single malt scotch taste like? I'd be like, oh, it's this. I'm not getting like a lot of other definable products like with some of the other whiskeys, but yeah. fresh, fresh, yeah, fresh, fresh A, I think fresh as hell. I think if there is some fruit in here though, it's probably more on the tropical, like, like melon side of things. Okay. Right? Could you see like, maybe like a little touch of cantaloupe or like the green melon? If I have to smell a fruit, that's probably what it is. But I don't, I feel like you're forcing it on me now. No. Ooh. So smooth. I don't like describing things as that, but that is mm. the easiest sip. Wow. I mean, that's just a good, clean, malt whiskey. I'm just getting grains all day. Like I'm not really getting yeah. like, it's not super smoky. It's <clears throat> not super peaty or whatever. It's it's nothing like that. It's also not at all sweet. It's, I get like a little bit of like a tang at the end, but mostly it's just. Malted barley, baby. Yeah, it's just really peaceful. That's kind of a weird word, but like, it's just a really, it, it was peaceful on the nose and it's really peaceful to taste. Like it's, it's I think sometimes somebody might interpret that as it's underwhelming. I would not describe this as underwhelming. I just think it's drinkable. Yeah, this is almost the opposite of what sometimes we use to describe Isla scotches, which are very heavily peated, where you sort of describe them as being musty, like, you know, basement dunnage warehouse, you know, wet, grassy concrete type flavors which have their place i mean believe me but this is like the opposite where you've uh you know you've you've climbed out of that basement now and it's just like a yeah, beautiful just, sunny day with birds chirping yeah. and you're just again i was taken right to that scene <laughs> you're just in the shire yeah what's a shire he doesn't he's not seen those movies i have seen movies not those ones, apparently, if you don't immediately recognize the Shire. Is that like The Shining? Oh my god. I would say that this can be packaged up neatly with some other of the scotches that we've had on this show, for lack of a better word, as just a nice starter pack of like... Yeah, I think if you were to uh, have like one bottle for each region of Scotland, this would be for Campbelltown hands down. Ooh, and a little bit like just left in the mouth feel like a little bit of like a little bit of beer yeasty. Oh, I think I, I thought you were going to say a slight touch of like char because it's not peaty. It's not smoky, but Maybe. after it. Uh, yeah. I, now that you say you know that I mean? word. Yeah. Just I a could slight see that. touch of, of like um, charred wood. Like you burn the, or you burn the edge of meat and, and you taste it thinking like, oh, this is going to be a nice little burnt edge, but it's like really just the char. It's barely there. Yeah. It's sort of like the next char. day after having a cigar. Yeah. I could see that. Just still lingering a little bit. It's really good. I need to come up with other terms. I mean, but again, this isn't a rating system. I'm just telling you how it's it is. It's either good or it's not, you know? <laughs> You're that is generally my rating system. <laughs> it's either good or it's not good. And this is good, so. You're no nonsense Head out woman. to your local stores. Well, you probably won't be able to find this oh. very often or easily, but. <laughs> well, but how about any other Springbank product? Um, There is one that's a blend, actually, that's out of Springbank. Um, it's this. And if you see that one around, really anything that has this bottle, you just can't go wrong. They're, they're doing things there the old fashioned way and it just works, so. Do, 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 do. Sometimes people don't like our music. What I say to those people is. <laughs> <laughs> Tune in next time when Dustin shows you how to replace a small window in a garage because you need to replace that small window in the garage.